Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. The other day I posted this card on my blog, and I didn't give directions, I didn't make a video on it, but I had so many questions on how to do this card that I decided to do it once again, or I decided to make a video on how to do it so that I could give you all the measurements, and um, it's just such an easy card, but it's really, really cute. And what I explain to people, I wish I could, I, I wish I could um, stand it up for you, but if you go over to my blog, you're going to see some amazing pictures. Um, I was telling the gals when we did this in one of my classes, I said to them, this was actually my club card, so you might want to join up for my virtual club, um, and you can do as many or as few as you want. Just hop on over to my blog for the details. But um, what I was telling the girls in club was that um, this is a great card because when the person receives it, they can set it next to their um, nightstand or on their dining room table um, and just look at it and just know it's a piece of art. It is just such an amazing... Um, card to do, but it's so fast and so simple. So today I'm going to use um, a stamp set that is um, in our new 2014-2015 idea book and catalog, and um, it's called A Word of Art, and we got this one free at our catalog premiere. It's a, it's a great stamp set. I just love it, and you can do so much with it. It's fast because you don't have to color anything in. You don't have to cut anything out. I also complemented it with um, this stamp set, which I just absolutely love, called Perfect Penance, so, um, and I did that on this one also. I used the perfect pennant saying on there. I just love that saying for it. But let me just show you really quick how to do that. Before I do that, I just want to show you that um, I do have some crystal effects on here. I don't know if you can see that. You see the shine in that? Um, on both of, both of these two hearts right here. A lot of times people overlook our... Um, our uh, crystal effects. That's one of our adhesives, and I just absolutely love it. So let me just show you how, how I did this. You're going to start out, and this is what everybody was asking, you're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 6. So it's a half, uh, half of a um, 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And what I did was I scored it at um, 3, 6, and 9 with our Stampin' Up! scoring tool. So I stamped, or I scored it three times, 3, 6, and 9. And the next thing that you're going to do, you know me and my Z folds, you're going to take and you're going to Z fold it. Okay? So what I did was I folded it up, and then I folded it back, and then I folded it up again. Okay, so let's do that again. We're going to take and we're going to fold it this way, okay, because that's the front of your card right here. Then we're going to fold it this way, and then we're going to fold this one back. So now we have our little Z fold here, okay? Now um, take your bone folder, because you want some nice good creases. Take your bone folder, and then just bone fold your creases nice and flat. Now your card is just gorgeous, okay? All right, this is the front because we want it to pull out this way, okay? We're going to take and we're going to next do our punching. So the first thing that I did was I took a punch, and um, this is going to be retiring, I do believe, the scallop trim punch. And um, you're just going to take and you're going to punch the top. All right, that's all that is. is you're just, you're just going to punch the top. Then we're going to take our de decorative label punch, okay? And what you're going to do with this one, now this is the best part right here. What you're going to do with this one is you're going to take and you're going to, let me just, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start on the front, which is going to be right here. Alrighty, this is our front, and what I'm going to do on this first panel right here is to take my punch and I'm going to line it up from side to side, okay? This is three inches right here, side to side. Now, this is the tricky part. What we want to do is we want to make the bottom part look like it is a little bit of a screen or um, the bottom of a dresser. So you see right here, here's, you've got that extra little niche right there. What you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to put your punch so it's centered from, from side to side on this first panel, and then if you can if you can see where these little notches are, let me just kind of zoom up in on that, um, we're going to take these little panel, see where this little um, notch is on either side? You want to make sure that that is just above this end of the cardstock right here. So you see how it's not, it's not even with that, it is just above it. That's the biggest trick right there, okay? And when we punch it out, it leaves our little leg ends. You see? Isn't that cute? Alrighty. Now, how do we get them so that when we fold this all up, that it all is exactly the same? Well, let me just show you. What you're going to do is you're going to take the um, first one that you did, and you're going to just fold it over once. You see, we don't have these two right here. We have just this one. And what you're going to do now is you're going to line this up, 
with the one that's just above it, and you're going to punch it. Okay, so there's our second one. You see how they line up perfectly? If you get these little tabs right here, if you hop on over to my um, website, I have um, I have my um, Stampin' Up. They're still they're still available for right now, but they are going to be discontinued. But you do definitely want a sander, and these are awesome sanders right here. And so what I do is I just sand off the rough spots. Alrighty, now I've got the first one done, and I've got the second one done. Now what I need to do is the third one. So what I'm going to do, you only want one layer in each one. So I'm just going to take this one, and I'm going to fold it over. You see what I did? I took this one. Here's the two. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to bring this back out again, I think. There we go. And I'm going to take my um, punch, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to line it up. And this is how you get them so that they're perfectly even, okay? And I'm just going to take and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to punch. You want them even here. Okay, there's that one. And then I'm going to go over to the last one right over here. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bring it over here like this. And you're just, you're actually punching just the one just before it and the new one. And I'm just going to line them up like this and punch it out. And then they are all nice and even, just like that. Alrighty? Now, the next thing that we do is, um, all we need to do, that is the whole card. All we have to do now is to decorate it. So what I'm going to do on the first one is I took my stamp set and I stamped all these up ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me stamp. I mounted them onto a black piece of cardstock, and then this is our new um, Lost Lagoon color, and I stamped them. These are all of our new in colors, okay? These are Blackberry Bliss, Hello Hello Honey, Lost Lagoon, Mossy Meadow, and Tangelo Twist. So um, what I did was I just stamped those up, and I'm going to add these to my panels. So there's my first panel. Then my second panel has um, an orange background to it, so I'm going to take that one, and I'm just lining up these right here. Even though you're not going to see them unless it's totally open, I'm just going to take and I'm going to line them up just like that. The next one I used my words right here, and that one was, this one is um, layered onto the Lost Lagoon. This one is layered onto the Tangel, Tangel. I have a hard time saying that one, Tangelo Twist. And then this one is on the um, Mossy Meadow. And last but not least, I have somewhere, it's probably stuck to my my wrist somewhere. Anyway, the last piece is, oh, here it is, okay, is onto the Hello Honey piece. Okay, so here we are. Now, this piece right here is, is stamped with the Blackberry Bliss. And um, now what I need to do is to add my... Um, my new little hearts, and I have a new punch that is in this in the catalog. It comes in a set of three. This is my new little punch. It comes in a set of three, and um, it's one of the the packets. And um, I just punched it out of my Blackberry Bliss. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a spot and layer that on there like that. And then I have one more that I'm going to take and I'm going to layer on right here. And then the last thing, this card is done now, except for one little thing. I'm just going to add my crystal effects. And if you haven't used this before, you definitely need it. Um, my crystal effects is going to just be um, put onto um, my little um, hearts right here. And then you want to give it some good standing time. So if you're doing this um, at, um, you know, during the day, just let it set overnight um, just to get it a good hard coat because you're putting it on pretty thick. All right, see how easy that is? And it gives it such a cute embellishment. It makes it look like it's 3D, um, and it just pops the cardstock that's underneath it. And that's all there is to it. It does take some drying time, so make sure you give it that good drying time. Otherwise, you're going to have a sticky, stuck mess. Now, you're going to need your envelope punch to um, make a, an envelope for this. This is a 5.5 by 3 inch card, but you can get away with a 6 by 3 inch um, envelope and you can make those with your envelope punch board. So I hope you enjoyed my post. Hop on over to my blog just to see how gorgeous the pictures are. Um, and to get the dimensions, they are also over there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Please let me know how you feel. Today is the first day, starting at 2 o'clock. This is um, June 2nd, 2014. Today is the first day that you can put your orders in for um, the new um, product in the, in the catalog. If you need a catalog, get a hold of me, and I will get you one. If not, have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed my post. Take care.